Well, I'm joined now by the historian and war correspondent Sir Max Hastings, who opposed military intervention in Syria, and the Conservative MP Brooks Newmark, who supported the government last night. Well, Max Hastings first. Is, was David Cameron reacting to public opinion, or was this a monumental failure of leadership? Well, I think David Cameron obviously misjudged both the strategic situation and the mood of the British people. But I personally think that what happened last night was a reality check of a kind that's long overdue about Britain's place in the world. And listening to all that was said earlier about the special relationship, I hate that word, that phrase, special relationship. There has not been a special relationship even since the Second World War. Britain and the United States have many values and interests in common. But it has to be said that in our recent wars together, we have had cause bitterly to regret blindly following the United States. I think Parliament last night did absolutely the right thing. But we have okay, to recognise that we that... will pay a price. OK, let me put that exact point we will to pay a price. Mm. We, we shouldn't be blindly following America. This is a, a breath of fresh air. No, but we do uh, share the same humanity when we see other people being slaughtered at the rate that they are being slaughtered oh. in Syria. And, um, you know, Max Hastings thinks of us as little Britain. I view us as Great Britain, and we should be proud of that. Max Hastings? I'm afraid I think that's absolute nonsense. The only question that matters is not what will make the Tory party or David Cameron feel good, but what is in the interest of the Syrian people. And the reason I and many more important people, including, I may say, most of the American military's top brass, oppose any idea of military intervention in Syria is we can't see a credible game plan for how this is going to help the Syrian people. This but is not about, um, you know, what makes us feel good. Um, that the idea, oh God, we've got to look at this situation, all these terrible things that are happening to the Syrian people and them being gassed by Assad. And there's no doubt in my mind that is all true. Assad is using poison gas. But what can we do? And we have too often okay. in the past okay, embarked on military okay. operations without a credible plan. OK, just to pick up on your point, there, though. John Kerry put it this way. He said, a thug and a murderer could not be allowed to get away with gassing his people. Are you happy that we're the kind of country that turns a blind eye to that suffering now? This is the talk of children, that all this blind eye, that the North Korean regime has killed millions of people, millions of its people, not thousands. But why have we not intervened in North Korea? Because it's fantastically difficult, if not impossible, to do so as long as they're supported by the Chinese. We cannot just talk in emotional cliches. We have to say what's realistic. And the real objection to Downing Street's position in all this over many months is that Downing Street has talked like a, a, a group of Boy Scouts rather than like a grown-up proper government. And I'm bound okay. to say in the next few days we're going to hear a lot of criticism of Britain from the United States for failing to support the United States. I, for one, think that we're behaving in a fashion that's long overdue and Parliament has done absolutely the right thing. OK, Brooks Newmark, if, if, why intervene in Syria and not North Korea? You know, we have to deal with what we face today. Today, uh, we have witnessed and we have seen uh, strong evidence that Saddam Hussein has used chemical weapons on his own people. In my view, and I've just come back from the Syrian border where I've met many opposition fighters and I met the leader, uh, General Idris, he said to me, if we do not act uh, in dealing with, uh, with Bashar Assad uh, in this, this will be a green light for which he can continue slaughtering our people and gassing our people. At some stage, for the sake of humanity, we have to say enough is enough. Well, John Kerry's list of allies, uh... Arab, the Arab League, Turkey, Australia, the oldest ally, France. I mean, he was twisting the knife. That must have been... I mean, how did you feel hearing that? You know, I find it's a great shame. You know, we have one of the five seats on the Security Council. If we want one of those five seats on the Security Council, we have to look beyond our own shores. We have to look at where bad things are going on over abroad, as we did in the Balkans, and we took action there. We didn't take action in Rwanda, and I feel ashamed of that. And we made a mistake in going into Iraq. Brooks Newmark, Sir Max Hastings, thank you very much for joining me.